Hello, boys and girls. This is Ms. Burkholz. Um, today, in continuing on with our honoring of Earth Day this week, we are going to be drawing another endangered animal, uh, the gorilla. There's all different types of gorillas that are endangered, so I decided to go for kind of a cute, cartoony one. Um, but this time, I have added just a couple of extra tweaks to it. So if you want to go all out with this full colored picture, um, you are going to need a sharpie, a pencil, an eraser, paper towel, a paintbrush. If you don't have a paintbrush, um, that's okay. You can maybe get a little sponge, you know, those tiny makeup sponges. Maybe your mom or sister or somebody has one you can borrow. I always like a paper towel in case I get a little too messy um, with the water. And of course you need a cup of water. Oh, yes, and a piece of paper. Piece of paper always helps. While you're gonna get that, I'm gonna go ahead and read my Bob Ross quote. This one says, just go out and talk to a tree. Make friends with it. That is a fun little quote. I don't know if I'm gonna go out and talk to a tree right now, but maybe later on this afternoon. All right, guys, are you ready? We're gonna start with our pencil. Start with the easiest part first and then filling in all the color later. All right, step one for our cute, adorable gorilla. With our pencil, we're gonna draw a pretty wide circle. This is the body. And towards the top, we're gonna draw an oval right here. And I'm keeping it light until I know what's right, right? And then I'm gonna draw a wider circle right down here and this is the sort of the chin area okay um, on either side of the body I'm drawing these two curved shapes these are gonna be our legs all right and now for arm number one I'm gonna draw that shoulder but I'm gonna make it a little fuzzy 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 and about halfway down I'm gonna draw a curve going over and up and back you can always add the little fuzzies right after I draw that basic bit yeah, there you go. That's arm number one. And to add the hand, just drawing a slight diagonal. One, two, three bubbles and back. So his hand is kind of curled up in a fist. Gorillas have huge, powerful arms. So if you even want to make yours a little bit wider in the arms, you can, the one I've got. All right, the other side, I am gonna have it fuzzy fuzzy, and then this one's gonna go down even more at a diagonal. So I'm gonna go ahead and go down, curve, and pop back up, right there. And see how I did this curve here? That's gonna be part of the chest area, the area that doesn't have um, any fur on it. I'm gonna do the same kind of curve on the other side. That helps me decipher where the arms are and where the middle of the chest is. All right, gonna fuzzy this up a bit, get that texture. Notice as I'm more sure where my lines go, I'm pressing down harder. And that would, should be typical of any artist. As you get more confident in what you're drawing and where you want it to be, you can press down harder. All right, right here. Kind of the same as this hand. I'm drawing two lines going down. One, two, three bubbles right there. Those are the knuckles. And if you want, you can add a little thumb going out to the side. All right, now for our two legs, I'm gonna go ahead and make the outside fuzzy. Go, go, go. And the inside's kind of fuzzy, going up and back. Same thing with my other side. And making it fuzzy, these are just very gentle zigzags that you're doing, nothing fancy. Keeping that belly nice and big. They got big bellies. And then for the toes, are just a bunch of curves. One, two, three, four, and five. Just like us. Their hands and feet look probably the most similar to ours of any other animal. One, two, three, four, oh, baby pinky toe, and five. All right, it already looks like a pretty cute gorilla. I'm gonna go ahead and draw a curve right here. Line down the middle. This is the chest and this is the belly. Oh man, I put my hand right over where the belly button should be but if you have space you should probably put a little belly button I don't know if yours is in a different spot than mine okay now for my favorite part the face dun, 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 dun. 
I'm gonna go ahead and draw two ears popping out right where this oval and this circle meet. Draw just two curves and a little curve on top. Y'all got it? Good? All right. Going up, I'm gonna solidify this line, give it a little fuzz, and then go back down. Good. And I think I'm good to erase out most of my little sketch mark lines here. I'm gonna erase this part too. There we go. We're almost done with all the basic drawing bits of our gorilla. And it's looking pretty cute, if I do say so myself. All right, right in here, right where our ears are, we're gonna draw a curve, point down, and another curve. Very wide M. I'm gonna go in and back out, in, back out. And we're gonna make this part really fuzzy wuzzy. There you go. And right here, this is where the big smile's gonna be, right above here. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw a smile. And two big circles for eyes. Right below where that curve is. Try to make them about the same size. This part, I'm, I am going a little bit lighter because I'm not sure how well I can do them the same. Yeah, that's pretty close. Yeah, not too bad. All right, I'm gonna go ahead, draw a curve. In my circles. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit just to make sure y'all can see even though you can see all my mistakes but that's okay that's just part of being an art teacher is showing those students your mistakes. I'm gonna draw a curve on the top Boop. a little curve on the bottom Boop. teeny tiny and I'm gonna shade in this part black. Oh he already looks very lively or she very lively very sweet. I was surprised to see just how many gorillas are endangered and how close to the top of the list they were. That was really sad and sobering. All right, now for a nose, it's just two curves. One, boop, two, boop, and little dots inside. Now this guy looks like he's um, smiling with teeth. The other one, you can see it had like a little tongue sticking out. It's up to you however you wanna do it. If you wanna do the tongue like the other one, it's just two gentle curves, kind of like what we did with our brow. Shade in the back. Doo, doo, doo. And right here, I'm just gonna add a little bit of that um, brow line. They have very, very big brows. Their whole face is really big. Their arms are huge. The whole top half of their body is super strong. All right, um, I'm just gonna do a couple of quick lines, doo, 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 right on either side. Um, maybe a couple of hanging vines, which are just some curving lines. Whoop, I zoomed in too far. There we go, now you can see. A um, couple of curving lines going around it. Y'all can kinda see what's going on, just to give the impression of this gorilla is living out in the wild and he's happy hanging out with his friends. All right, um, a tree is basically like a wobbly V. You've got two kind of slightly wobbling lines going up and out. A V, actually it's more of a Y than a V, isn't it? Yes, it is. All right, and um, each of the subsequent branches or the branches right after that split off. And then if you don't want to go in and do all the fancy schmancy tons and tons of little branches after that, um, I usually do a bunch of either hippity hop type lines going in and out and around or I make them a little jagged but you want to keep them uneven you don't want to do this this is the kind of tree that I always complain to kids about this is what I call a broccoli tree don't do this no no do something like this. This looks more alive. It looks more interesting. And let's do another quick one on the other side just to keep it nice and even. Woohoo! We got a wonky Y going on. Let's do an extra. Alright. And keeping this part uneven, squiggling in and out, showing that this is overlapping this. We're skipping that part of the tree. Did y'all notice that? I hope you noticed. And of course, you feel free to add any other extra things. Now, I'm not gonna outline with a Sharpie. Just now, just cause I know you know how to do your own outlines. 
Um, my next thing I want to show you is how to turn um, regular markers into paint. It's actually super simple. Um, with your water, you're going to go ahead and get your brush wet, just ready to go. And I'm going to go ahead and color pretty quickly and lightly, generally where I want my color green to go with the marker. Now I'm not going to wait long, I'm going to go right in, wipe my brush on the edge of the cup, and paint on top. Leaving my brush very wet, it turns the marker into a nice watercolor. See? That's pretty easy. Now the cool thing about this painting method is it's not really messy, but if you do mess up, like let's say I accidentally, uh oh, I painted a little green on top of the gorilla, you just dab it with a paper towel and it comes right out. Um, you can also mix colors pretty easily with this method. Let's say I want it a little darker in the corners along with a little bit of like the yellow green and darker green just for the heck of it. If you are not waiting too long they can blend pretty well pretty easily but you don't want to wait a long time otherwise the marker will dry out pretty quickly. So you got to catch it. Uh -oh. Oh no, the lines are solidifying! Oh no! You gotta catch it pretty quick so it will smooth out. Now, check with your parents before you paint with markers or before you get anything wet. Make sure the table is not the kind of table that should not get wet and you're not wearing clothes that should not get messy. Um, even though I'm pretty sure all of this stuff will wash out if you, like me, have washable markers. All right, guys, I think that's about it. Um, I will put the initial example up again at the end of this video, but hopefully this is enough to get you started on your own gorilla drawing and painting. I would love to see what you do on your own. Uh, feel free to class dojo me, any examples of your artwork, both um, the gorilla, another endangered animal on my videos, or just something you've done just for fun. Um, dojo me, email me, just let me know how you're doing and what kind of art you're doing. Don't forget to stay awesome. I love you and goodbye.